Hello, I'm Simon. Welcome back to the workshop. Now, whilst this channel has focused quite a bit on woodwork, I have also done a little bit of 3D printing, and indeed, the first ever video I produced on this channel was about updating this bench power supply, which I first built when I was 13 or 14 years old. And I added this uh, little digital display to it. Now something I've also been working on for some time, but then sort of left because I got bored of it, was this thing here, which I call a cyber deck. And if you're familiar with cyber decks, then you'll know that they come out of the idea from William Gibson's Neuromancer of a very powerful computer that sort of sat on your lap, a bit like a laptop, that you hooked into and you could effectively see cyberspace around you by hooking directly into your brain. Now cyberdex these days don't have neural interfaces but they do tend to be quirky computers that aren't laptops that potentially allow you to do other bits and pieces or other things on them other than just normal computing. Now I started building this probably four or five years ago um, the Raspberry Pi 4 had just come out, so that gives you a date reference if you're interested. This machine here has got its own internal power supply and it also has a connector here to allow anything from 5 to 24 volts to run it externally. And the concept that I had for this was that it would be one of those machines that you could use to reboot humanity after the zombie apocalypse. Now that's all a bit tongue-in-cheek and it was just a bit of fun but inside it it does have a hard disk and it does have a full copy of Wikipedia plus full copies of a number of other websites that provide information on things like programming. On top of that it also acts as a games machine and can um, play lots of old arcade games and old, and old games from things like the Amiga computer and the Commodore 64, ZX Spectrum, that sort of thing. So it's a bit of a multi-use machine. But ultimately, I got a bit bored of it because I couldn't really find a way of designing the 3D case. The case is a combination of sheet aluminium and a 3D frame that the aluminium sits inside and I just couldn't find a way to make it robust enough. And um, the idea was this bit would actually fold up and make like a lunchbox sort of style machine. Now I'm thinking of having a go at this again, but starting from a, a box that I've already got so that the whole framework is already there. And I think that'll be a lot easier this is jam-packed, this. Not only does it have this screen, but it supports up to two more HDMI monitors. It's got Ethernet on the back, as well as um, a USB slot. It's got four, I don't know how many it's got. It's got a couple, three USB 3 slots on the front. It's got a uh, memory card readers. And the plan, although I never got round to it, was that I'd be able to also boot up directly from a memory card so that I could then use different memory cards to um, bypass the hard disk that would normally boot up so that you could do different things on it. As well as having all of those web pages that were all offline, it also had a full copy of my um, local NAS which holds all of my family photos and videos. Plus a lot of music from my archive. Now I never got around to finishing this and it's been lumbering up the shed collecting sawdust and I now think it's time to have a go at rebuilding it in a new case and getting all the software working again. If you'd be interested in a video like this then let me know in the comments and um, I'll produce it. If not, I'll just do it on the side as a bit of a um, vanity project for myself. 
Well, that was it for today. Just thought I'd have a quick chat about this to see if anyone's interested. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.